In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we now call to mind our sins. And we apologize to God, saying together, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Mass today, March 9th, is being offered for the healing of Mildred Reckla, Amy Reckla, Lucas Valenjit, Eric Lopez, Norma Gaspar, Felicissima Castro, Kelly Tapacho, Zaid Zafo, Michael Mello, Vernon Pingo, Robert Tardichila, Perlina Quattrochocchi, Dennis Mark Rogers, Norman George Pitcher, Teresa Oligario, Madeline Lee, Benam Fernandez, Chris Jane Gabon, de Mello, Benjamin de Mello Kearns, Matthew Vacari, Maria Lilia Tienza, Isabel Martins, Aurelia Delara, Olivia C., Nora Watson, Chora Popo, Chelsea Dixon, Gabriel Lazari, Kiana Tran, Carmen Pace, Jason Aguiar, Michael A., Gloria Matthias, Gina Bellaton, Maria Morales, Agnes Wu, Menino Tomoto, Luis Medeiros, Rolando Monacal, Aurora Furtades. For the intentions of Tyrone Figredo, Eveline Richard, Benny Garces, Evelyn and Eugenio Cruz, all volunteers in the parish. For the souls of Vincenzo Petzoff, Ricardo Tardicilla Sr., Olivia Noemi, Montenegro, John, all souls in purgatory. We pray, O God, who delight in innocence and restore it, direct the hearts of your servants to yourself, that caught up in the fire of your spirit, we may be found steadfast in faith and effective in works. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, who is God, second person of the Trinity, who lives and reigns with you, Father, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Cursed are those who trust in mere mortals and make mere fleas their strength, whose hearts turn away from the Lord. They shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when relief comes. They shall live in the parched places of the wilderness, in an uninhabited an, an soul plant. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat, heat comes, and its leaves shall stay green in the year of drought, it is not anxious, and it does not cease to bear fruit. The heart is devious above all else. It is perverse. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, test the mind and search the heart to give to all according to their ways, according to the fruit of their doings. The word of the Lord. God. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Happy are they who hope in the Lord. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path that sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers, but their delight is in the law of the Lord, Happy and on his law they meditate day and night. Happy are those who hope they are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, and their leaves do not wither. In all that they do, they prosper. Happy are those who hope in the Lord. The wicked are not so, but are like shafts that the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Happy are those who hold the Lord.
Praise to Lord King of eternal glory. Praise to Lord King of eternal glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told this parable to those among the Pharisees who loved money. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores who longed to satisfy his hunger with what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs would come and lick his sores. The poor man died and was carried away by the angels to be with Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was being tormented, he looked up and saw Lazarus far away with Lazarus by his side. He called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in agony in these flames. But Abraham said, Child, remember that during your lifetime you received your good things, and Lazarus, in like manner, evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. Besides all this, between you and us a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who might want to pass from here to you cannot do so, and no one can cross from there to us. The man who had been rich said, Then, Father, I beg you to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, and he may warn them so that they will not come into this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. They should listen to them. He said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. Abraham said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will, neither will they be convinced, even if someone rises from the dead. My brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. We continue to read from Jeremiah. And Jeremiah warns his people that they have put their trust in the wrong place. They have aligned with political alliances that ultimately would destroy the nation. They have disregarded God's law, and he warns them. Jesus Christ equally warns his people against the dangers of wealth which is why Judah, in the time of Jeremiah, linked itself to political alliances. It wanted to become rich. That's what it valued. Jesus Christ today warns people against such things because the reality is that money is a massive temptation. Personal wealth is a massive temptation. But recall, please, that the rich person is not condemned because they're rich. That is not the issue. But because their wealth makes them indifferent to the plight of others. We have a nation of immigrants. At least the city is of immigrants. And it's very easy for immigrants to forget the poverty that they came from. It's very easy for immigrants to enter into a mentality, hey, well, I'm okay. I made it. I worked hard. I got here. Look at me. If they want it, they can be like me. They just have to work at it. No, no, it doesn't, it's that, that's an oversimplification. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. There is an element of timing that governments are open to immigrants coming in. What immigrants are coming in it isn't, they can do it because I did it. That's ridiculous. But I've heard that come out of mouths of immigrants and children of immigrants, even worse, many times. Hey, my parents made it, so, you know, they can make it too. No, that's ridiculous. You're ignorant. Um, you're, you're foolish. Like, you're, you're not considering the complexities 
out there today. And so we have to be very careful when we who have it, because we are the haves, okay, we have to label ourselves that, start judging the have-nots because they're either not working hard enough or not trying hard enough and getting into that mentality of, well, my parents got here and made it and we're fine. They could be too. No, that's ignorant. That's ignorant and foolish and unmerciful. So, but there's a lot of people like that. I meet them all the time. They make me want to vomit because of their foolishness. Again, we have to, during Lent, have a new heart. We have to recognize that in many cases, most cases, if there's a solution to the third world, we are the solution. We are the solution. And so that's why it's incredibly important that we are careful as to where the have wants more and where we value our identity based on us having, again, the pride of immigrants, not all immigrants, I'm not a fool, but the pride of many immigrants, many immigrants, the pride of them is ridiculous. They're like the rich man in today's parable, looking down on Lazarus, and ultimately remember what happens. Lazarus gets into heaven. The rich man does not. And again, the mentality of Lazarus, serve me. Dip your finger in the water. Go to my brothers. Even from hell, he's ordering Lazarus around because he sees himself as superior. Even from hell, he sees himself as superior. So again, we have to be careful. Children of immigrants like me, who had great success, immigrants who had great success. I told you the story on the weekend about the guy with the 10 frames of adopted children. That is the correct mentality. None of those children came to Canada. They stayed where they were. But he helped them to make a difference where they were. That's the key. It isn't the big house that gets you into hell. It's forgetting them that gets you into hell. We cannot forget that as the haves because it's going to be a major judgment issue. We that have, judging those who do not. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. By this present sacrifice, we pray, O Lord, sanctify our observance that what Lent and discipline outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time of Lent, for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, 
that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather than the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we now acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Tom Collins, our Bishop, Frank Leo, his successor, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. In a special way, Vincenzo Pezzot, Ricardo Tardicilla Sr., Olivia Noemi Montenegro, John, all souls in purgatory. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other now in silence. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be with you. Body of Christ, body of Christ, body of Christ, body of Christ. 
Let us pray. May the sacrifice, O Lord, remain active in its effects and work ever more strongly within us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve God and each other. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Thank you all for coming. I will uh, be exposing the Blessed Sacrament until 3 p.m.